Did you know that successful English learners all share one important secret? That is, they mastered the 44 sounds of spoken English, so they can communicate easily and read really well. In this video, I'm going to teach you all 44 sounds of spoken English, so you can be successful in your new language as well. Before we start, if you haven't seen part one of this video, I highly recommend that you check that out first. In that video, I explain just what phonemes, the sounds, and graphemes, the written symbols or spelling patterns are, and how they work together. So you can check out that video here. Let's dive in with consonant phonemes. Remember, the vowels are A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. Vowels require us to open our mouths and let the air pass freely. Consonants are all the other letters, which require us to block the air either a little bit or completely. Let's listen to the consonant phonemes, sounds, and look at their spelling patterns with some example words. Okay, let's get started. B as in bat or bubbles. D as in dog or ad or bed. F as in fat or phone. G as in gate or egg. H as in hat or high. J as in jar or age. J as in charge or budget. K as in cat or kitten. K as in duck or school. As in account or check. Notice there are a lot of graphemes or spelling patterns for the sound k. L as in legs or bell. M as in mad or hammer. N as in no or dinner. N as in knee or gnome. P as in pie. Or apple. R as in run, right, or marry. S as in sun, mouse. S as in dress, city. S as in ice, science. T as in top, letter. V as in vet, give. W as in wet, win. Y as in yes, onion. Z as in zip, fuzz. Z as in sneeze, laser. Z as in was or is. Z as in please or xylophone. These next phonemes are called consonant digraphs. Digraphs are when you put two letters together to make a new sound. And in this case, these are consonant letters that we put together to make a new sound. The first one is th, and this is not voiced. What that means is that all of the air comes through your lips with no vibration in your throat. Not voiced, like thumb or thin. Then we have th that is voiced. The difference is a vibration in your throat. Th, this, feather. Mm, like sing or donkey. Sh, like ship or mission. Sh, like chef or motion. Sh, like special. Ch, like chip or match Zh, like garage treasure or vision wh like what or when you can know a long vowel if it says its letter name and it's followed by a consonant and a silent e here are the long vowel sounds a like bacon or plate a like day or train. A like they or ate. 
E like me or these. E like meat or feet. E like key or baby or thief. I like find or kite or light. I like fly or pie. O as in no or note. O as in boat or row or soul. U as in human or chew or use. U as in moon or ruler or blue. Short vowel sounds are actually cut short. They don't say the letter name at all and they make a much shorter sound. These are the short vowel sounds. A as in hat or laugh. E as in bed or bread. I as in sit or it. A as in hot, hall or want. A as in draw or bought. U as in book or put or could. A uh, as in up or one. Let's look at the vowel diphthongs now. Vowel diphthongs are when you take two vowels to create one sound. And just like the constant diphthongs, except for you're only using vowels. And in this case, we're either going to use O and W together or O and Y together. Ow as in cow or out. Oi as in coin or toy. The letter R can actually be very bossy to the vowels that come before it. I'm joking, but of course, vowel sounds can be influenced by the letter R, and it can tell the letter R how to pronounce the vowel in front of it. Here's some examples. R as in car and bar. Air as in air, ear, or hair. Ear as in mirror or cheer. Or as in door, for, or core. Er as in burn, first, or work. If you like this video, then make sure that you like and subscribe and leave a comment below. I want to hear from you. Thanks for watching. See you next class.